In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys possibly one of the most important tricks to learn in unicycling. I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to 180 unispin on a unicycle. 180 unispin is a super important trick to learn in unicycling because it is an essential building block to like 90% of the other tricks out there. This one is a must know if you're trying to get into urban unicycling or any kind of unicycling that involves big tricks. So what is a 180 unispin? 180 unispin is a unicycle trick where you're riding up with the seat out in front of you. So you're hopping, taking your feet off the pedals and rotating the unicycle with your hands 180 degrees and then putting your feet back down onto those pedals. So I'm gonna be breaking this tutorial down into two sections. Now the first section is prerequisite tricks that you should probably learn before you go for the 180 unispin. And I'm even going to include a optional trick that you may or may not need to do, but I highly recommend. So you should stick around to figure out what that trick is. And the second section being how to actually do the 180 uni spin and some common problems that you might run into. So let's hop right into this tutorial. So the first prerequisite trick on this list is seat in front hopping, for short, SIF hopping. Seat in front hopping is exactly the way it sounds. It's basically just like regular bunny hops, except instead of sitting on the unicycle and hopping with one hand on the handle, you're holding your seat out in front of you and hopping like that. Seat in front hopping isn't much different at all from just regular hopping. It's gonna have pretty much the same techniques. So to start out with seat in front hopping, you're gonna wanna start by holding the unicycle with both hands and then basically just hopping as you normally would. There's really not much else to this trick besides that. You just have to experiment and play around with it. It's gonna be kinda of hard to get your balance at first and the best way to get used to seat in front hopping is by practicing your regular hops and then just slowly bringing the seat further and further out until it's fully out in front of you. Now you don't need to be holding it out super dramatically, you just need it a little bit out in front. I would highly recommend after learning how to hop with the two hands on the saddle, you're gonna wanna go with one hand on the saddle and then maybe try hopping with the other hand until you get fully comfortable with both. That'll give you a lot of versatility and you're just gonna be an all around better rider for it. And now for the second prerequisite trick on this list, just like the crank flip tutorial and just like many other tricks, you're gonna wanna learn how to do aerials. For any trick where you're taking your feet off the pedals, aerials are essential to learn, so you really gotta learn this one. Aerial is a trick where you're riding up and you're hopping and taking both feet off the pedals and then putting them back on the pedals. This trick is really easy to get going with because you can start them off really small and then grow them bigger and bigger and bigger until they are really nice, really flashy looking aerials. Obviously, the bigger you can get the aerial, in theory, the better. This just means you probably have more control and you'll probably have a lot more room to do spins and flips. So learning how to get your feet out wide enough to let the unicycle spin or rotate is really important. But there's a catch. When you're going for the 180 uni spin, you're gonna be riding and hopping with your seat out in front of you. So it makes sense to learn how to do aerials with the seat out in front. Applying the same technique and the same ideas, you're gonna wanna hold the seat out in front and then just take your feet off. And then of course, to get used to it and build your confidence, you're gonna wanna scale it up, starting small and then going bigger. And once you get really comfortable with aerials, there is a third trick that you can learn that is totally optional, but I would highly recommend learning it if you're gonna go for the 180 uni spin. This optional trick is the 90 uni spin. Now, this one will really depend on the person. Some people have uh, bigger trouble committing to the 90 uni spin, while others find this one to be an easier stepping stone and easier to commit to than the 180 uni spin. Either way, this is really gonna depend on the person, which is why I've left this one as an option. 90 uni spin is a great warm up trick for the 180 uni spin, though, because it's, well, it's half of a uni spin. So there's a lot less technique in the spin. In theory, it's easier to commit to because you're not really jumping off it as long and you're not really doing as much. Where this trick kind of gets intimidating is that you're gonna have to land on the tire, which for some people is a scary idea. So for hopping on the tire, you can just practice from the ground. You can either step onto it or just hop right up onto the tire. You're gonna wanna put your feet right tight into the frame. Uh, if they're uneven or one foot's a little bit out, your wheel's gonna wobble and you're not really gonna have the balance. The great part about the 90 uni spin though is you don't even have to fully land the 90 uni spin. So you could just simply 
get onto the tire and then hop off immediately, or you can get up there and you don't even have to land back on the pedals. Although, doing 90 unispin down from tire will get you warmed up to the idea of jumping back down onto your pedals, which is also really going to help you in learning the 180 unispin. I would recommend learning 90 unispin, but I don't think this one's essential. I just did a scene change because that last spot was kind of uncomfortable. For the 180 unispin, you're gonna want your hands on one side of the unicycle. So no crossing your arms, no hand on each side. You want your hands on one side of the unicycle and then you're gonna wanna rotate the unicycle around. Now you're gonna either wanna keep your hands on the whole time or you can take your back hand off to meet your front hand at the end of the spin so you can catch it with one hand on each side. I think this one really just comes down to personal preference and I don't think it really matters which one you learn first. So as you're spinning the unicycle, you're gonna wanna kick your legs out or up just high enough or just far enough out that you can spin the wheel without your feet catching the tire. Once the unicycle is spun past the 90 degree mark, you can slam your feet back into the unicycle to either land on the cranks or land on the pedals, and then you've completed the 180 unispin. Congratulations! Sounds really easy, but it's kind of hard at first, and it's gonna take some time for you to learn. It also doesn't matter which direction you spin the unicycle. Now, spinning direction becomes more important when you get into bigger spins and bigger flip tricks, but for now, learning to spin one way or the other when it's a 180 unispin isn't going to make much of a difference. Highly recommend people to just go out and learn how to spin both directions. But for now, it doesn't really matter which way you spin. Just pick what feels comfortable right now. As for hand positioning with the 180 unispin, it doesn't matter too much where your hands are placed on one side. Uh, some people like their hands really close to the middle and really tight, while other people like their hands spread out really far apart. This all comes down to personal preference. It really depends on you, and you should experiment with both of these hand positions. One thing you can do to build confidence and to just wrap your head around the idea of 180 uni spinning is to just practice your hand positioning and your spins on the ground, not even hopping onto your unicycle, but just practicing spinning the unicycle. And once you've really experimented with just spinning your unicycle stationary on the ground, you can turn this into a mount to build even more confidence. So you can start doing unispin mounts where you're hopping onto the unicycle while you're spinning it. Now I'm gonna address some common problems that people sometimes run into when they're going for the 180 unispin and what you can do to correct them. The first big problem that I sometimes see with 180 unispins is your tire is getting caught on your feet or you're not able to spin it the full way. Now the first common and obvious problem I see here is not having your aerials wide enough. So it just means you're not throwing your legs out far enough to let the unicycle spin all the way around. The tire is getting caught on your feet as you're spinning it, which isn't allowing you to spin all the way, which is why it's really important that you go back to aerials and try to kick your legs out even farther and getting used to that. If you're having problems with this one, I highly recommend going back to aerials. But the second common problem with 180 uni spins is not landing on the pedals or just not landing on the unicycle at all. And I broke this down into three things. The first one being that you're not leaning over the unicycle enough. So with this one, I see a lot of people 180 uni spin and then the unicycle's way out in front of them while they're standing off behind the unicycle. So for this one, you're gonna wanna lean over the unicycle more. So maybe try keeping your eyes ahead of the tire or keeping your head in front of the unicycle. Basically, you're just gonna wanna experiment with leaning over the unicycle as opposed to leaning back or keeping your back straight. You're gonna wanna try and hunch over that unicycle more so that the unicycle stays underneath you. So another issue here is that you might not be smacking your feet into the frame. It's really important that you're throwing your feet into the frame when you're starting to learn 180 uni spins, and then slowly you can try to clean it up by landing on the pedals. But for now, with the first 180 uni spin, it doesn't really matter so much that you land on the pedals. I think it's more important that you're learning the uni spin and you're learning the technique for landing the uni spin. So if you're missing the pedals a lot, or your feet are sliding off those cranks because they're just barely hanging on, I highly suggest going back to aerials again and then practicing slamming your feet into that frame. Slamming your feet into the frame. Slamming your feet into the frame. Slamming your feet. Slam, slamming, slamming your feet into the frame. <coughs> oh, 
there is one other common problem that I see with the 180 uni spin, and that is that you're not committing. Now, 180 uni spins are really foreign, and they're kind of new for most beginners. It's a totally different concept from what you've probably learned so far, so it's really hard to wrap your head around, which makes it really hard to commit to. There's really not much else to this one than improving your mental game. And to that I say go back to aerials, go back to getting comfortable with hopping, and just try to get more confident in these tricks and these prerequisite tricks before you go for the 180 uni spin again. That way you won't waste as much time just attempting without actually going for it. So that is my unicycle tutorial on how to 180 uni spin. I really hope this helped you guys out and hopefully you get your 180 uni spin. If you did, please comment down below because I love reading that hype stuff. It gets me pumped up and it's like I'm reliving landing my first tricks all over again. So please comment down below. I would love that. And I hope to see you guys in next week's video. Peace.